Jeff Gordon, the 20 year old out of Pittsburgh, Indiana, set the racing world on its ear this year. Jeff has been the hottest property in Bush Grand National Racing this year with five speedway poles, two victories, and a million dollar contract from Hendrick Motorsports to drive for them next year. Yeah, I remember Hendrick Motorsports has looked upon a little bit different back then. They they were, you know, definitely a, a strong team, but uh, it wasn't looked upon like the powerhouse that it is today. And I remember getting criticism that it was a bad move. This is why a lot of the questions going on about the kind of move Jeff Gordon made. Here's the Ford leading Bush racing and Ford total domination of Winston Cup racing right now. And I think that was a lot of the question why he would make a transition with the power that's involved in Ford Motor Company now. It really didn't have anything to do with Ford, anything to do with Chevrolet. Ford has get, given me so many opportunities to get involved in, in, in NASCAR and, and where I want to be. And, and it had nothing to do with them. They, they've treated me very, very good. The majority consensus in the garage area here is that Jeff Gordon is stepping out of one of the best situations any driver has in this sport. At the end of the season, he will join Rick Hendrick's operation out of Charlotte, North Carolina, in a third Hendrick Chevrolet Winston Cup team, a brand new team being built from the ground up specifically for Jeff Gordon. Why would you go over to a two-car operation and make it a three-car operation? That doesn't make any sense. It's, you know, you, you've got the opportunity to, to go over here with more established team, or if you wait another year. To me, it was a no-brainer. To Ray Evernham, to John, it was a no-brainer. No I was accused of, oh, just taking money, you know, and leaving Ford and all that. And it's hard for me to explain exactly how the situation went, but it wasn't about money. There was newspaper articles criticizing me, you know, why would Jeff's advisor have Jeff go to a mediocre best multi-car team, you know, when I can't even get two cars running. Ray Evernham built cars and, and I built cars, and when I was invited down and I walked through the facility, I could see the tools. You look out at Rick Hendrick and you say, okay, here's a guy who wants to win. And that's one of the most important things in a car owner. The car owner has to be committed to winning. Very obviously, it was a, it was a great decision. And all of those people who, who offered up their criticism, they kind of have to eat a little crow, you know, <laughs> so.